Hey guys, uh, I'm going to do a quick video here on how to actually cut a hole in your suck it dust boot if you bought the model without any hole in it already. Um, I'm using the uh, Festool, <clears throat> so I'm actually going to cut uh, the hole or show you how to cut the hole since I already have. I'll show you how to cut the hole um, for your Festool in your suck it. I'm just going to use this piece of half inch MDF. Um, as a sample just to show you how to set it up so let's go ahead and get started so what I'm gonna do basically is I'm gonna figure out if this was my uh, dust boot I'm gonna figure out where exactly I want that hole to be so on this guy here um, I kinda just eyeballed it and said uh, I want it in this area here I measured the width of the dust boot and I went ahead and marked my um, X center point and then again just kind of eyeballed where I wanted to place it and mark that as well so assuming that that point would be you know, approximately here um, on my sample piece um, now I've got it all ready to go all I have to do is I've got a fixture here for making other stuff but you get the idea I'm gonna go ahead and put it um, in my fixture and I'm gonna clamp it in place And I don't need very much clampage there because this is pretty tight. So let's go over to um, easel now and I'll show you how this works. So this is my center point and when I measured my dust boot uh, this I want to say was if I'm not mistaken about uh, 30, 37, 34 something like that. I'm trying to do this one-handed, I apologize. So let's just call it 32.7, and I got that basically from measuring this guy here, um, and then just went a little tight, right? So there's, there's, let's just call it 34. So I'm gonna call it 33, just to give myself essentially a millimeter. So I'm gonna make a 33 millimeter hole in the center of the dust boot, just like I did here, 33 millimeter. Okay, so here we are in easel. A um, couple things first and foremost, I'm going to go ahead and set my um, settings to millimeter and I'm going to change my material to cast acrylic and I'm going to set my bit size to quarter inch. I want to try and cut as much as possible. Next what I'm going to do is go ahead and choose the circle and here's my circle. Now you notice it's in it's doing a fill and I don't want to do that. Um, so I'm going to change it to uh, an inside because I wanted to cut my 33 millimeter circle. Um, my bit's going to be cutting on the inside leaving essentially a 33 millimeter hole in my boot. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, down here in the shape settings I'm going to set this to 33 millimeters by 33 millimeters and now I have a uh, quote unquote perfect circle and now from a position standpoint remember I'm going to um, reference the cut based on the bit so if I were to cut as is um, it's going to cut you know somewhere north of 33 or 25 millimeters from my start position I don't want that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the start position here and I'm going to set both of these settings to zero and you'll notice uh, it moved my circle down here to the lower left corner. It's Some of it's in the dead space, that's okay. I'm going to set my bit here and then it's going to cut that circle uh, relative to where I put my bit. So if I put my bit directly on that spot we marked on my MDF, it'll just simply move outside and cut. Um, so again, I'm going to go ahead and cut my uh, entire circle out. My Material thickness is about nine millimeters. You want to measure yours to be sure. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it to cut all the way through. Uh, and I'm not going to use tabs. What I did for mine was basically a, once I marked my spot in the acrylic, I took a drill bit, I drilled a hole, I clamped it down, uh, and then I just drove a screw into my workpiece uh, or into my spoil board so that uh, when it finally did do this cut, that piece of ABS didn't uh, didn't come flying off the table at me. And then you just pull it out when you're done and you get a nice, nicely cut circle. Uh, if I do a simulate, we're going to see it's going to take about two minutes to do this cut. So let's go ahead back over to the MDF and give it a shot. I'm going to go ahead and start using the keys on the keyboard to jog this guy. So I'm going to start by going down. That was pretty slow. Again, I'm eyeballing it here, so it may not be exact, 
but you get the idea. So I'm going to set my work home position to be that center of my hole. I'm going to confirm my home because I've already homed it. I'm going to raise the bit. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the spindle. And I'm going to carve. And so what it's going to do is cut on the inside. And again, I'm not going to cut all the way through. I set it for a really shallow cut. But this is it cutting acrylic. And I've told... Alright, so I didn't cut all the way through, and you'll notice it was cutting very slowly. That's because I actually set my material up as cast acrylic. And once it's done cutting that out, you will have the hole for your vacuum hose in your dust boot. It takes a little bit of pressure to get it in there, which is what I want. I actually have to fight it with two hands a little bit, which I can't do while I'm holding this camera. But that actually cuts my hole in the dust boot, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching.